What's that uh, Greek uh, legend about Narcissus? I think is his name. <laughs> Narcissus. He sees himself in his like in the water, and he falls in love with himself. That's us, right? But we hear our voices, and right? We fall in it's love. like, oh my god, these people are amazing. Who are they? And how can I fuck them? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's start it there. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Moral Limits. I'm your host Stuart Keller, and with me is my co-host Jesus Sandoval. And I was sitting with Jesus. We're about to watch Man of Steel for a Man of Steel podcast, but he asked me the question. We're not recording. Do you really hate Nazis? I mean, do you really not hate Nazis? And I'm like, yeah. Wait, they, they killed wait, Jews. wait, you're, wait. No, you're using double negatives and sounding. All right, because I said, do you really not? Wait, now I'm confused. You are okay. confused. I am confused. Okay, so you, what did you say? Not hate? All right. Yeah, not do hate. Do you really not hate, hate not Nazis? Not some okay. Not not hate would be yeah, the correct not, term. Not hate. Makes sense. So exactly. the point is, is I hate Nazis, and right. Jesus, what what's your stance? All right, on let's Nazis? clarify though, because it's apparently impossible for you to understand. Huh. Just because I don't loathe Nazis with every fiber of my being does not mean I like Nazis. Yes. I do not like racism, at all. All right. I just it, it would the world would be boring without it. But yeah. I do not go out there and support it. Yeah, the world would be boring without people like Anything. Nazis. Anything. But I still hate Nazis. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. I do not like Nazis. But. Yes. And this is coming from a stance, like, when I said this was before I did all the research in history class. Mm-hmm. Because, like, going into that podcast when you said that, all I had going for me was movies about Nazis. Yes. Which again are Which like, is pretty damn accurate. Sure, but I've never seen like all right, Inglorious Bastards is a great And movie. Indiana Jones? Fair enough. Yeah. But my point is I all I've known is that Hitler bad, Nazis, they're bad too, but I mean it's Hitler. Hitler bad. That's, that's the, all no, I've no, ever no, known. That's the biggest problem with our society. Is we put it all on one person. Exactly, that's my point. That's why like Nazis are I've, just as bad as Hitler. And I will accept everything you say. To prove that point to me, and hopefully by the end of this, I can agree with you because I'm sick of this bullshit about the Holocaust. So let's wrap this shit up. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So, when we were talking, when Jesus was asking me, do you I proposed really... the question. Yeah, you proposed the question. Would you be mad at a person if they shot a Jew? If they because... shot a person, it doesn't have to be a Jew. If they shot a person... While someone else holds a gun to their head saying, if you don't shoot this person, you will die. Would you be mad at them? And would you hate them? Yes, I would, because they just killed the person. Slash Jew. But in order to save their life. Save their own life. Exactly. Save their Those own life. cowardly bastards. Okay. Cowardice does not but make can up you, all right, look. Joker said it best. Killing right? is making a choice. Sure, but like you don't. What, what I mean is the interrogation scene. Yes, when he talks to that cop and he says, "You don't really know a person until the moment they're about to die." Right. Yeah. Some of th- those cops were cowards. Yeah. How do you know if you were not put in a life or death situation, you would not be a coward as well? You don't know that. True. Right. So how can you say that you would hate a person who does? I would hate myself if I did the exact same thing. That's what I know. Oh, so that's interesting. Yes. And here's another thing. If you want to go by Joker quotes, he says to Batman, killing is making a choice. When he has to choose to save Rachel or Dent, he's like, if you don't save the other person, you are killing that person. Killing is making a choice. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Now, he can... The guy holding the gun to that guy's head is probably going to kill that guy to begin with. Jew or not Jew. But... He can at least go out knowing that he didn't kill someone. Right, right. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Now, let me propose a question to you again, then. Yeah. So, let's say you're put into a situation where you have to choose between... You have two kids, right? Yes. And you know, if you don't make it the, the, the next decision that you have to make immediately, 
both of them will be captured and tortured until they are killed. Like Deadpool. Agonizing pain until they die. Right? The only way you can save one of them is by picking one to go off and be tortured. Would you be able to make that decision? Shit, dude. This is why you're the perfect co-host. You present fucking questions like this. Right? First, you fucking go into Nazis. How many people are willing to go this dark? And now you have to pick what kid you send to their death. Look, this is the episode of The Moral Limits that we become The Moral Limits, all right? There are no limits here. Look. And if we get, like, literally two views, I would not be... We started this podcast just talking about movies. A lot of people must have wondered, why is it called The Moral Limits? This is why. Dark Knight, man. He starts out as Batman... And then you see, oh, he is the Dark Knight. This is when we become the Dark Knight. Now, to answer your question, if you have two kids and you have the opportunity to save one, of course you save one. Right. That you, so you, you are. Would you say that person is a bad person for picking one of their children? Would you hate them to send to their death? No. As long as they did everything in their power to try to save both. But if there's absolutely no 0% chance of saving that other kid, at least save one. Because if, So in the situation... If they, if they sit there and say, no, I refuse, I, I can't choose, and both die? Is that where the, the question goes? Yeah, they both would die. That fucking horrible person. If you have the chance to save one person... So he's a horrible person if he can't pick one of his kids. Because you, you can at least save one. But what about the one you picked? How could you make that decision? Look, I, it is an absolutely horrible decision to think about. It but is. the fact is, would you rather save one life or zero? Mm. Think about it in numbers. See, but what, think of it like this, though. Would you rather be the reason one life died? Oh, shit. Or two. Right. Yeah, that's my but, point. Or be indirectly involved in the reason that both of them died. Because you are not the reason that both of them died. You are the reason both of them died. Because you had the uh, chance to say, yeah, killing is making a choice. Right. I live my life by that. <laughs> you live your life by everything Joker says. Yes, because the Joker's fucking right in everything he says. That's what makes him terrifying in that movie. Exactly. And that's why Zod's such a good villain, too. Because he's also fucking right. God, I can't wait for Man of Steel. Right? But, this is not Man of Steel. This is not Man of Steel. Okay. So, what would you do? Now that I've, you know, dug myself into my hole, in my position, what would you do? Uh Uh-huh. Um. One, would you shoot a person if someone had a gun to your head? Look, I like to think. Look. No, no, you you gotta gotta fucking give an answer. You can't. I I know. No, my no. I like to think that I wouldn't shoot that person, but I can't speak for myself on you know. I can't speak for myself at a hundred percent certainty either. But that is the choice that right now in my shoes I would make. Yes, again, with a level head, I like to think that I would. Yes, let myself be shot in the head, even if the other person did get shot right after me. So that being said. I but even though okay, I still don't hate a person who does choose to save their own life. Sure, I won't like respect they them and I won't them. think yes. But so did Superman. Superman killed someone. That was about he, to kill a family. Right. Yeah. So in a situation So are you saying that any death can is unjustified unless they are saving a person? No, ju- death is justifiable. If it is for the greater good. But if we're just talking about uh, three blank slate people. One person is going to get shot. The other person has a gun. And the other person has a gun pointing that gun at that guy's head. We're not talking about certain character aspects. We're talking about Zod and Superman and Man of Steel. That family is about to die. Right. Superman is making a choice. He killed Zod. But it was to save a family. Right. Okay. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. So, what would you? I mean, look, I can't say with a level, uh, without a level head, what I would do. But 
your choice would be to not shoot the person. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. If you had two kids, what would you do? Let both die or save one? I would want to save one. Yep. But the thing is, I don't know if I could actually make that decision. I don't know. But like, you, that's terrifying. It me. is terrifying, but you have... I, I, I would, I, look, if I were to raise my kids right, if yeah. I raise them how I want to and I think they will turn out the way I want them to, yeah. if I had to pick one... That person would not hate me after they would st- they would understand why it's happening, because that's how I think. If I was a child in that situation and I was picked, I would be, I would understand. Like I would still be terrified. No, no, no. All right, what's so to come? I would look. If that's what I said before, if you chose one kid, I would not hate you, because you're saving one. One life. Is- but if I choose to not pick one, you would hate me. Because it's fucking stupid, dude. It is. If you have the chance to save one life instead of zero, what the fuck's wrong with you? Right. Yeah. Yeah, in that situation, it would be stupid not to pick one. Exactly. But it's a hard decision to it make. Is, it is a fucking hard decision. All these moral questions that we are going around the world. Yeah, like there's a lot of questions dealing with morality that are just mind-boggling. Like, all right, let's say you're hiding out in a room, right? Yeah. Okay, let's say, to connect it back to the Holocaust, you're a Jewish family hiding under um, a house, right? Yes. There are Nazis above you. You have a baby that is crying, that is your child, and you can't get them to stop crying. You cannot, there's nothing, like, there's no way. You, there's nothing you can do because that baby will not stop crying. Yes. Would you kill that baby? Holy shit, dude. Right? You're going dark this episode. No moral limits. Would you kill that baby? To save you everyone there. You don't fucking need to kill a baby. What? It, well, how else will you silence it? They're right above you. They're looking for you. It's quiet up there. Smother it? Yes. How? How are you going to make it completely silent? It's all, if you close your, put your hand over its mouth, it's never going to stop trying to scream. It's not going to be like, oh, well, I better be quiet now. <laughs> oh, shit, there's Nazis up there. Let me shut <laughs> yeah. the fuck up. No, but that's my point. You're never going to be able to get it to be quiet in that life or death situation. If it keeps crying, you're fucked. So, what are you going to do? If you don't stop Look, it from crying... Look, if the Nazis are already up there... Right? They've heard the baby. And you killing the baby is just going to make more noise. Not if you snap its neck quick, and then everything is quiet again. No, but the people around you are going to freak the fuck what out. If, what if they don't hear it? Though? If, you're, the pro- if, the, if right. you're with a family... Let's say they haven't you- heard you, though, and the baby's, like, about to scream... Would you kill it? No, because look, listen to this. The people around you mm-hmm. are going to freak the fuck out. If you're with a family, like you said, right. and you snap a baby's neck, the family's going to freak out. You notice don't go around snapping their necks too? <laughs> oh my god. See my point? Yeah. You're, just, you're making yourself a bigger problem. But isn't that losing the chance to save everyone there? You can't save everyone there because they'd freak the fuck out. What if they didn't though? What if they understood? No, no, you, no, no. You, that's you. No. This is all you're a going, what if situation. You're going against human point. nature. Human nature is that if you're of a family. But isn't the basic human nature to survive? That's if, our basic nature, survival and right? emotion. We are driven by emotion and love, right? Like Interstellar. Yes, powering an entire fucking universe with the. Power, power of, of love. love. That's right. A father's love for his child. Yes. Think about it. All their love for that baby, they're going to freak the fuck out. We are driven by emotion. Mm-hmm. They're devastated. Nazis here, they die anyways. That family's fucked. It's a no-win scenario. <laughs> wow. Yep. You just kill... So, even if that killing that baby will save everyone there. Yep. But no, no, you, that ba- uh, killing that but, baby. Uh, I'm making a situation in which killing that baby is the only way to survive. You that, that that situation doesn't exist though. It's impossible. It's not impossible. You can't look. You can't give me a math problem without an answer. It, it doesn't. Morality have a, doesn't have a correct answer. Yes, it does. There, no. I'm Mor- right. God morality damn it. is gray. I am right. God morality damn it. is gray. No. The moral limits. Oh my god. The moral limits is all about defining what we believe is right. What do we do every week? We bitch about movies to prove our point. Uh-huh. How is that any different from morality? Yeah. 
So when it comes to morality, what the moral limit stands for is what we believe is right. And fuck everyone else's opinion. Wow. Okay. See my point? Yeah, I see your point. That is these wh- questions don't have answers. That's the real problem. They but that do doesn't though. make them wrong. Like, th- they don't make these questions any more true. But your question has no answer. Therefore, it's game over. Sure. So you want to hear another question? Yeah, shoot. Okay. You're on a trolley, right? I'm on a it's, trolley. It's flying down the street. Oh, fuck yeah. I am gay as hell, San Francisco. <laughs> clang, clang, clang on the trolley. Keep going. <laughs> what happens next? It's out of control, right? With the gays, it always is. Okay. There are five people at the end of that. For some reason, they cannot get out of the way. Maybe they're tied to the track. You can think of that. Yeah. No one else is around yep. except you in that trolley. I'm sitting in a, a trolley that's going out of control and it's about to hit five people. Yes. Yeah. All right. Can't jump out of it. Yeah. And I mean, even if you did, they'd still die. So. Yeah. But there is one person on there who is big enough that if you push them in front of the trolley, it will stop it. They will die, though. That doesn't work like that. It does. It can. It does not Fuck work like that. Fuck you. It Fuck does. no. It does. Fuck no. Logic. No. <laughs> yes. Logic is if you push a fat guy in front of a trolley, he's not going <laughs> to stop it. You size as fuck. I'm not size this, though. Nothing against fat people. Wait, 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 wait. I just realizing something. Oh. Uh. So, all right, sizes yeah. would be someone who hates people of different sizes, right? Like someone of a different size than their you own. You judged him by size. Right. Yeah. Racist, same thing. Judged him by race, correct. Right. Sex. Speciesist. Sexist, yeah. right? Same yeah, thing. Yeah, you judge him by, yes. Feminist. You judged him. Mike drop. You judged him by woman. Right? Yep. Mike drop. I hate feminists. <laughs> I know you do. My point is, in that situation, it doesn't work. Oh my! This God. is like the baby. You don't put like you can't push a hundred babies in front of a trolley. <laughs> it makes it stop. <laughs> and you can't push a fat guy in front of the trolley either. Look, just because you hate babies and fat people doesn't mean you can push them in front of a trolley. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Just because oh you don't like the gay god. party, that's oh. not a trolley. Oh my god. But what if he has the amount of force that Spider-Man had in that crane scene? He doesn't know. Fat people don't have superpowers. <laughs> hey, do not discriminate. Huh. They can have powers. But they don't, though. If we're talking about real life scenario, fat people do not have superpowers. Nobody has superpowers. Exactly, so why are you putting a fat person in front of the trolley? <laughs> oh my god. Stuart. Jesus. All right, let me think. Cause I got these, uh, look, moral, these moral questions are hard to come up with. Look, here, here's so fuck the thing. You. Jesus starts out this episode by saying the episode, the episode, by saying, "Are Nazis bad?" Question mark. No, I'm not. All right, look, they're not bad. Uh, they, they are bad. Uh, Jesus, nah, the nah, fuck's fu- wrong I, with I, me? I messed up. I apologize. Okay, Scott Poop, they, son of a bitch. Yeah, they are bad. Yeah. I just don't hate them with the level of hate that I hate. That's the thing. Look, Who do you I hate more have... Nazis? The problem is, I have never experienced a level of hate that you have for, for anything. All right. You know, people can say, like, if I could choose, I would shoot someone in the head because I hate them so much, whatever, right? Yeah, that's not me. Yeah, sure, that's not you. But, I mean, like, my friend Markel, he says he hates, I don't remember what it was, but he hates someone so much, something. That he, like, would totally wish them to turn into a human centipede. You've seen that movie, right? Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but I know what it is. Yeah. He said that's how much he hates the person. Yeah. Or thing. I don't yeah, know I don't, what it was. I'm not that full of hate, dude. But you said you turn Andrew Garfield into a fucking walrus. Jokingly, sure. I say a lot of shit. Okay. I wouldn't But live, I've never I had would, that. I I've live. never had the level of hate to that I could. say it? Not even to jokingly say it. Come on. Not even to... I wouldn't kill someone. I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't kill someone either, dude. I don't hate people that much. I don't have the level of hate. And I don't think I've ever hated anything that much. 
I say I hate things. I same, say, same. I, that's but why, I never... And that's I why never, I said about Andrew Garfield was I would turn him into a walrus, but I'm not serious, dude. Right, right. I know, I know. You're not going to, like, drug him and, like... Yeah, I'm not going to drug he's him. He's on his run! And I'm right? not... Yeah, I'm not going to fucking cut his legs off and so Le- One leg and then, oh, like, at a time. Like, what? one one leg and then when he starts freaking the fuck out, later do the other one. True. But the point is he took both legs... And he sewed him to his fucking face to make him a walrus. I'm not going to do that to Andrew Garfield. Yeah, but like, I'm when not you sadistic. explained that to me, it didn't sound as bad as it actually looked. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. And I'm not I'm not that fucking sadistic. Sure, I'll joke about it. But that's my problem. It's like, it's like I, I don't, don't think I've ever had I know that. you Look, won't legit I, seriously start a space holocaust, but I will sure as hell joke about it. Right. But, look, I've never hated anything... To the point where I can't even look at it. Same. Like, you can't watch... You... Or you hate... What are you talking about? Bucky Larson. Yeah. The, the movie. Yeah. So you'll never watch it. I watched the whole thing. You watched the whole thing, but you would never watch it again. I, I'd probably watch it again. Fuck. I don't understand you, then. I enjoy hate. I know. Fuck. We're the same, man. We are, but, like, we I don't are hate one. things... The level of hate that most people have. Is yeah, but I mean. we have the same level of hate, so why are you fucking trying to turn this on me? I'm not trying to turn it on you. I'm trying to explain my position because I don't hate things with the level of hate that other people hate things. Well, other people, but we're, we fucking hate things. Sure. Sinker, right? Okay, so then by our standards, you hate Nazis. I do hate Nazis. By our standards, you hate Nazis. Or by people who say, if I could, I would shoot Hitler in the head, hate Nazis. Would you shoot Hitler if you had the chance? I don't know if I can take a life. That's the thing. I, I so save six million. I don't know. Put yourself in Ozzy Mendez's shoes. Right. For the greater good. For the greater good, would I kill a yes. person? Or an entire don't city? Don't do this. In that don't do the fucking Doctor Manhattan without condemning nor condoning. Understanding. What? what? Condoning? Condoning. Condoning. Okay. Condoning. Because you said condoning. And you fucking said something. Bullshit. <laughs> that, something about hating Yeah, that's Nazis. the best argument. You said something, so yeah, you bullshit. Said, you said something about not hating Nazis again. Like, oh my god. Alright, do you know who Freudian was? Like, uh, it rings a bell. Uh, the psychologist, the Freudian slip. When you keep accidentally saying something, it means you legit believe something. All right, but that was like one accident. The other one was not an accident. I just look again as this as time has passed mm. and I learn more about the Holocaust. I do legitimately see myself hating Nazis yeah. a little more each time. Yeah, because I like they did a lot of shit. That yeah, dude, about. we That's all knew, we, we all knew this. You had but seen... I didn't. That's the problem. Holy fuck. So maybe yeah. I like people probably think like I'm the biggest fucking monster on the planet because I didn't hate Nazis, but like, can you hate something you no, don't no, understand? No, 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 can you hate something you don't you, understand? Look, you're not a monster. You're just ignorant. Sure. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Extremely ignorant to yeah. not hate Nazis. Because I, I, why would I ever look up what did the Nazis do in the hall? Like, why would I ever have the drive to do that? Because it's fucking interesting shit, dude. That's I don't find people suffering interesting. No, d- the fact that that took place in history. Like, when I was in That's the... something that's always been weird with me. Like, I know people say, oh, it's terrifying to think about the fact that this happened only so long ago. Mm. It's never clicked with me that things happened, like, before I was alive. Like... You're, you're a narcissistic fuck. Sure. T- that's part of it. Before... B- before... BJ. G- the... BJ. Oh my god, before, before Jesus. Jesus. Before Jesus. Right. And after but look, Jesus. I know that sounds really bad, but my point is, like, I understand that things happened in the past, and I know of things that happened in the past, obviously. Yeah. But it's never clicked with me that, like, things happened within, like, a lifetime of my birth. See, I, I, I mean, in school, I always loved history because it's like a fucking movie, it's a story. Right. And that's a fucking fascinating part of history. Yeah. That one man could, you know, just drive the momentum required. One thing that, like, people don't understand, though, is, like, it was very stoppable. 
Like, you could have stopped the Holocaust yeah. many times yeah, throughout yeah. Hitler's life. Yep. He could have, like, he could have died in World War One. But that's the thing. And that would you have keep, been... You kept saying solution. earlier, Hitler bad, Hitler bad, Nazis also bad. It's all fucking one thing. Sure, he's the fucking face. He's the face, but he's also the reason that they turned into what they did. Because they didn't start out that way. Hitler and, you know, other people. His sure, ex- but, like, like he advisor. brought his... Look, when he, when he joined the party... It wasn't named the Nazi party. He renamed it. But the point is, it was still that party. He, his ideology was... And like, what about Goebbels? They, huh? What about Goebbels? Yeah, I don't know a lot about Goebbels. See, Goebbels is the fucking guy who would design all of the fucking sadistic shit that would go on in the concentration right. camps. But the, look, I only know right now before Hitler became a dictator. Yeah. Which is the stuff that I'm basing my argument on. But, again, it's not just... That it's not just Goebbels. There's a bunch of people like Goebbels. Right, right. But they probably and around and I don't Hitler. know because I don't I don't remember reading about Goebbels before Hitler came into power. Because so logically that mo- I maybe I'm wrong, but logically that means he, that he did not join when Hitler first joined, and he's not the reason that they changed all of this shit. Right. Think about it logically without having all the information, you know, right in front of us. What seems more logical? One man. Just magically... He, no, he was a great speaker, though. He's a he, speaker. He's just like you. You can... Yeah, Stuart, you're, you're the reincarnation so, of Hitler. All right, so here's this, guys. For weeks now, Jesus defends the Holocaust, and now he turns it on me by calling me Hitler. <laughs> In the history of podcasting, has no host received just much negativity? Oh, my God. But I have. I am being compared to Hitler. Sound familiar to you? Donald Trump. Wow. That's what you're doing to me. Comparing me to Hitler. Damn. Anyway. Me and Trump are one. Look, I mean that in, like, arguing ability. Yeah. He had a gift. You my Goebbels? No. Come on. If I'm Hitler. I'm not sadistic enough. We already established this. Like, I can't see myself killing people. True. I can't do that stuff. I can't even imagine people being died in any way other than, like, a... A sound death in you a You my Aver Braun. That's what you are. Again, I don't know a lot about that. Holy, you don't fucking know who Aver Braun is? No, I that's don't. That's his I wife. Don't. Oh. The one who fucking killed herself along with Hitler at the end. I thought he Spoiler killed alert. Her. I thought he Holy killed shit, Because he poisoned the punch. No, fucking boom. Oh, I didn't know that. They, like, they went down in a bunker at the end of World yeah, War II. Yeah, I know that part. Yeah. And then they, like, I thought, like, they drank something that was poisoned by Hitler so they would all die. No, it was just the two of them, and allegedly they died. Now, there's no proof that they died. Right, because, like, the when body... America got there, their bodies were gone. No, no, I mean, well, there's different accounts. Bodies were gone. Ba- bodies were too badly burned to tell. Right. So but on. But by this point, they're dead because of old age. Cry damn, Stuart. The fucking Nazis. Oh, my God. You know what's fascinating about the Nazis? Hmm. What they did to the Jewish people was absolutely horrible. One of the worst things in history. But it's probably the worst thing. Think about this for a second. Medical advances, where we are right now in science, is because of the Holocaust. Shit. Do you know who was behind the scenes of those concentration camps? Scientists. Now, sure, there are certain experiments, like, um, they, did you ever hear about the eye experiments? No. They would take chemicals and insert them into children's eyes to yeah. turn them blue. Because blue hair, blonde. Right. I mean, blue eyes, blonde hair. <laughs> wow, that'd be really weird. It, it They did it. No, I mean like yeah. blue hair. Oh, yeah, fucking eyes. Marge Simpson. <laughs> but, dude, not only that, in order to make more of the blonde... Aryan race. To make more of the Aryan race, they would try to figure out ways to make twins. Really? Yes. So they would fucking, like, breed the, uh... The, you know. So, like... They would try to neck straight up incest dual <laughs> they, breeding. Through science, they would try to breed them in order to have twins. And the guy behind it fled Germany right afterwards. Now, they say he fled to this place, and this place has the world's highest count for twins now. Oh shit! Yeah. Fucking fascinating. See, these are the small details I don't know about because, like. I'm not a college or a 
uh, high school graduate like you are. I found this all out in like fourth grade. Oh, fuck you, dude! When I found out about you know, like again, like I just World never War Two, I was pride. just like, holy shit, this is like whoa, and I, I just had to keep finding out more. Yeah, but th- again, I've just never had the drive to look up the Holocaust. Like, um, school papers. You know what I sir- I did them on most times. Hmm. Kennedy assassination, nine eleven, World War Two, Holocaust. Really? Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah, because it was like when I would find out something, I was just like, "Oh shit, I'll just do it on this so I can learn more about it." Right. Okay. Yeah. So again, that just really ignorant history. So yes. I don't know all these. Like I didn't know about all of the uh, massacres. Like I knew they killed a lot of people, but like yeah. in the ways they did it, oh. to what extent they went. Yeah. Like until I read the novel um, Night. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know, like, a lot of the shit they did in the concentration camps. Like, I knew about the showers, but yeah. that was almost it. Like, I didn't know about the um, the ovens. Yeah, yeah. Shit, there's other stuff. I know it, but, like, uh, my, my point shit. is, like, they did a lot of things. I didn't even know they marked them with numbers. Like, Oh, dude, I fucking knew that, like, age three, four, because again, of fucking X-Men. Is history. X-Men. Oh, yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah, to, uh, the Holocaust. Yeah, dude. Right. Look, Doctor Manhattan. It, what he said about something beautiful coming from something horrible. That's true. I mean, it happens. Look, they would to the uh, concentration uh, camps. They would take the people, and they would put them through such horrible conditions to bring out pneumonia. We now know how to treat pneumonia and the common cold because of the Holocaust. Mm. Damn. But, to bring it back to Deadpool and the iPhone right. and Hitler doesn't make up for it. Just like the new Deadpool movie does not make up for X-Men Origins. Fucking Benzer. Fucking Benzer. Anyway. Alright, fair, like, fair enough. Yeah. These are all legitimate points and I didn't know a lot of these things prior. So I could... I could probably say I hate history. This is yeah. probably a good thing. Very good thing. Yes. Because, like, so many people probably hate me. Okay, so, Jesus, are you a born-again non-piece of trash? <laughs> yes. Do you hate Nazis? Yes. Praise the Lord! Jesus hates Nazis! Yay. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. God damn, what the fuck happened? You're, like, all, like, low and mellow. Because, like, that's really depressing, man. All the things that have happened. You want to talk about depressing. After you asked me if I would <laughs> save one of my kids. Yeah, but that's theoretical. This is real life. Still, dude. That's fucking dark. Pushing fat guys in the trolley. <laughs> yeah. And you want to tell me dark. about depressing? Ow. You had that coming. Yeah, I kicked the table by accident. All right, so any more theoreticals? It would all just be like a lot of pointless stuff, though. All like right. we can, we can, like, we have thirty minutes left in a podcast. What, what do you want to talk about? Nazis. Hell, we can talk about Nazis and movies. Nazis and movies, perfect thing. Now, a lot of people have problems with showing offensive material in movies. Right. Like, do you know if you have the Nazi symbol, the swastika, in uh, a TV show, it automatically goes up to TV fourteen? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, because it's offensive. Huh. Do you know they tried to get rid of the uh, Confederate flag? But didn't Disney do, like, some uh, Nazi stuff? Yeah, because that was back in the 40s. Yeah. We're talking about now, in our overly politically correct society. Yeah. Do you, you remember on the news about them trying to get rid of the uh, Confederate flag? No, I don't remember. Yeah, that was about a year ago. They uh, were trying to remove it everywhere. Uh, they stopped playing Dukes of Hazard. you know that show? They stopped playing it on TV because it, the car has the Confederate flag across the top. Right. Because they said it's offensive because of slavery, which is bullshit. The Confederate flag is not offensive. The Nazi symbol is offensive. It is used by the Nazis who fucking killed six million. Yes. The Confederate flag is a rebel flag used, you know, by a nation that, you know, in a civil war. Now, the Civil War was not all about slavery. Yeah, just by popular belief. Exactly. So why the fuck are we offended over a Confederate flag? Yeah, I agree. 
look, if the flag was used for that reason, yeah, exclusively, yeah, sure, I would understand. But like the swastika was used pretty much exclusively for the Holocaust, not but not the Holocaust, more like well, I mean, for the Nazi party. Yes, yes, yes. It's but it has that connotation, and it was used for those like terrible things, but that flag, it was used to fight a war that not only fought for slavery. Sure, that was a big contributor, but there was other aspects to it that people didn't It's a contributor, but think about this. So, the Confederate flag is used by a nation, or right. at least tried to be the Confederate States of America. They, they tried to use it as their own thing, right? Right. And one of the things they supported was slavery. Now, America also supported slavery. So, is the American flag offensive? Damn. Fucking A. Yeah. And it just, it, it keeps going on and on. And like Nazis in movies. They say some stuff shouldn't be in movies because it's offensive. Right. Why? Uh, I don't get offended, like, pretty much at anything. Yeah. You could say a lot of shit to me and I won't really react in yeah. a serious manner. Yeah. Like... Hell, you called me a Holocaust reporter for, like... You called me a pedophile. Yeah, and that's what I love about, like, our friendship. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. It is. But that's my point, like, you can call me that. I call myself a weeaboo. Yeah. You know, to some people, that's the biggest insult there is for, like, anime yeah. people. That pisses me off, because, like, that's our thing. Yeah. Well, Why I mean, wouldn't you well, If you're talking that? about words like weeaboo, right. it's like nigger. Why are people... Right so offended by words i had a discussion with someone about that exact thing okay because like trump used anchor babies yeah and like sure that could be offensive to some people but why like it's just it's a it's it first off it's catchy and it's super easy to call them kind of what they are yeah because i mean as much as people don't want to admit it some immigrants would do that yeah for that reason exclusively yeah not just you came here illegally and decided to have a kid because it's a good country you did that so you could stay in the country yeah, because that's... america's fucking awesome yes yeah but that's my point you can't ignore the fact that that was done yeah so it's not like completely wrong i mean people gasped at the n-word because whoa but it's the same thing with people freaking out about fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I have a friend who said, um, I'm going to name my kid the N-word. Ex- yeah. Wait, did, so he that- say, did he say nigger? Yes. yes, I'm just, but it's just playing for the joke. Okay. So that way, whenever he gets called in roll call, yeah. and they and the teacher says um, N-word, and he can, he can reply with, it's pronounced nigger. Yes. Right? That's fucking awesome. Oh, no, but think about um, old stuff. Like, old stuff like Tom Sawyer. Right. In the book, there's a character called Nigger Joe. Yeah. Nowadays, we're they're trying to erase Nigger Joe. Yeah. Because it's offensive. Now, here's the thing. People act like Nigger N-word is one of the worst things possible. Uh, a TV show chef, Paula Dean, actually lost her job. They canceled her show because she said Nigger... In her own private life. Whoa. Yes. Now, well, I mean, sl- that happens. Slavery that happens, is though. horrible. But they put the N word slash nigger on that same pedestal. It's not. Words are words, dude. Like think about it. Same thing with cursing. Fucking, like, um, that's fucking big, or that's really big. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's an adjective. Why have we as a society, you know, if we're going moral, let's not make it all about death and Holocaust and baby fat people killing. <laughs> let's bring it to fucking society where we stand. Right. Why is your name offensive? Jesus? I don't know. That That's annoying, too. Yeah. Like, technically... It's Jesus, because no fucking Mexican mark, right? Sure. Yeah. But, like, people get... People can get offended when you do stuff like that. Yeah. When you say my name 
in that as sense. it should. And like, I don't know why. Neither do I. It's a word. It's a name. Sure, it's the name of a it's, messiah, and I love it no, for here's that the reason. Thing. But it's a uh, it's the name of the messiah that some believe to be true. Right. Not everyone. Not everyone. Sure, we believe it to be true, but why are are we so narrow minded that we're gonna be like just because we believe someone turned water into wine, rose three days later, that we shouldn't say your name? Yeah, I understand. What yeah. You mean. Okay. And I, I agree, like, I don't know, like, some churches were, like, really anti, um, anti naming your kids. Yeah. That stuff, like, really bad. Now, explain this to me. Mm-hmm. In Mexico, predominantly Christian, you know, Catholic and whatnot. Right. Why is it a common name, Jesus? Is it just we, be- we got our shit together, man. That's all it is. We got our shit together. Wait, your family or Mexico? Mexico, man. Mexico has its shit together. You're so close to God, you can do it? Yeah. But, like, I think it's a popular name because, like... Very religious Very religious people who aren't, like, the type of religious where 4,000-year-old world, you know, um, that kind of shit. Yeah. No gay... Yeah. I think that's the main reason. Like, we don't... We're not super, like religious in that sense yeah. we're, we we're super religious in the sense that we think our religion is the best thing ever yeah but we don't think like it should entitle the those like limitations in yeah, the yeah. sense like no gay. and i feel you no... as a person embody that belief it's fucking awesome right because like you believe that shit but you're not fucking consumed by it true like my cuckoo clock of an ex damn her and her family were consumed by religion. Like, but you're giving my family a little too much credit because I had to on remember after um uh, we watched Cloverfield Lane thing, yeah. whatever. Yeah. That night I had to go out to the like to the mountains with my um grandpa's church yeah, buddies yeah. Yeah. for prayer. Oh my god, it's cold. It's so cold. <laughs> And I didn't bring, like, a winter jacket, so I just had, yeah. like, a thin, like, the jacket I brought today. Yeah. Super thin, like, I was frozen. Simple, simple ass hoodie. Yeah. Frozen up there. Freezing my ass off. And, movie. oh, my God. But, like, I was freezing my ass off. Yeah. And all, they were just dancing and singing the praise of the Lord. Like, how? It's so cold. It hurt. My, I got numb. Yeah, some people, like my cuckoo clock of an ex... Are fucking crazy. They right. will do that dance and the praise for the Lord even in the dead of cold. Right. But I wasn't giving your people credit. I was giving you oh credit. Oh my god. Right, right, right. Like, oh my god. Uh. There is nothing more terrifying than seeing a fully grown man jump and dance around prancing Swim. while crying. There's oh. nothing more terrifying oh, than that, god. dude. Oh. In Spanish? That oh. is that is crazy <laughs> scary. While you're freezing you your ass Krypton, off. You should have recorded that. I should have, but I didn't have my phone because, like, my mom was like, no, no phone, because, like, mountain, there was no service out there anyway. Los presos! Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> exactly, but, like, dude, that's terrifying. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, you're in a fucking cult, dude. Damn. That's, that's dark. Oh, yeah. But it's freezing up there, dude. Wow, it's cold. But, yeah, like. In general, I don't think religion should be... Sure, I can understand that. That's I can understand that. I wouldn't do it and like actively seek going out to the mountains and oh, yeah, freezing yeah. my someone, ass off. Yeah, if someone wants to do that, fine by fine. me. Fine, but I'm not going to support like the whole anti-gay... No, no, when people tell me what to do, that's when I have a problem. Right. Or what they tell other people what to do. Right. So it's like when... You know, religious people start saying, hey. Lead by hey, example hey, is stop, the best way to stop go about it. fucking that guy over there. Don't fuck that chick over there. Right. It's just like, no. Let them do what they fucking want. Exactly. Now, at the I end th- of the day, if being gay leads you to hell, that's your choice. Right. Don't fucking outlaw it. Free them all. Right. Or all the men can fuck the men and all the women fuck the women. Free them all. Wow. That's yeah. a pain in the ass. <laughs> it really is. Uh, um, yeah, 
I think like the best way to go about religion is like to lead by example. Mm-hmm. If you follow your religion and other people like you know they relate to that and they're yeah. like, yeah, that's something I could do. Cool. Yeah. Then they can join you and they can follow your beliefs. Yeah. Just but don't like take a group of people and say you you follow this religion now you do this this and this. Yeah. And plus a lot of those people who try to you know stop other people from doing stuff, they uh they really treat the Bible like a bag of trill mix. They 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 take <laughs> some of it. They take the M and M's of the Bible and then leave the rest. Wow. Because think about it. Like they say in the Bible, if a son raises his hand to his father. You fucking cut that arm off. Whoa. Yep. If a kid talks back, you fucking beat that kid. Whoa. This is in the Bible. Whoa. Yeah. Wait. Whoa. Yeah. Right? That's some fucked up shit. Right. But those people who but are M&M like... M&M picking. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a so, light so, side so yeah, to yeah, this yeah. story. They, 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 they pick up that M&M that says, gays are bad, and they're like, oh shit, let's believe it. Right. But they don't leave the Brazens. Right, which are the the justifications to those beliefs. Yes. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. So, and again, I treat uh, the Bible like a bag of trail mix too, except my M&Ms are not the gays are bad ones. My M&Ms say, hey, you're going to heaven. And I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you M&Ms heard, say- like, the the current thing going around, like, with uh, Mary? Mary Magdalene? I'm not Mexican, so I don't have Mary okay. news on. <laughs> Okay, so basically, possibly Jesus' lover. Oh, was... yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about his mom. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, the possible lover thing's been going on for years because yeah. of the Da Vinci Code. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And she's a prostitute. Oh, So, yeah. like, where's your religion now? Where's my religion now? <laughs> Jesus oh, was... it's just like, that's what they're treating it like. Like, this is the biggest catastrophe <laughs> that could ever happen. It's like... No, it's not. Look, there is 30 years, like, no, not 30 years, probably 50, 20, 20 years, maybe, of Jesus missing in right. the Bible. Right. Because he fucking goes to church, abandons his parents, they catch him, you know, being wise and shit. And then he being disappears. wise and shit. And then he disappears. <laughs> that's and then we, that's you know, amazing, dude. Being wise and shit. It's what he did. Yeah, but that's just awesome. <laughs> being wise and shit. I'm going to use that. Like, outside yeah. of this. Yeah, Jesus was being wise and shit. <laughs> but uh, then he just disappears until he comes back and dies. Uh, yeah, and dies. He you shouldn't know what have come back because, like, dying. Fuck Man of Steel. We should read the Bible and then review the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the anime minute. I want the Bible Dude. minute. Oh my god, that'd be cool. Yes! There's so many cool stories in the Bible, too. Yeah, oh my god, we're gonna fucking review the Bible. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Fuck movies, dude. We're a religion podcast. We're a religion podcast. Yeah, we don't read the Torah, the Quran. Right? Yeah, dude, dude, like, yeah. Jewish uh, churches, though. Yeah, but like, I'm noticing, it's, it's the same Holocaust. <laughs> it's the same stuff you put up with yep. in a uh, regular, yep. without all the... God smiting down um, fucking towns and shit. Well, that's because we're all like, God loved us. He said we were the good people. Yeah, that's my point. Like, when I had to go to a Jewish uh, service. (laughs) When you had to. I did have to. You were dragged. I didn't want to. You had a number on you. (laughs) It was hot as hell. It made you shower. It was hot. It was a hot day that day. Anyway, like, Uh, I was... Like, at least at church, like, every once in a while you get those, like, really cool stories about, like, And then God. they gave you alcohol. Okay. Um, like, they get those cool stories about, like, the seven plays and, like, sh- blowing shit to oh, yeah, each, yeah. you know, all that cool shit. Yeah. And then, but, like, in a Jewish church, you don't get that. You just get a lot of dancing around and then talking about, in a language I don't understand. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We're, it's, we're all fucking review religion. There's gonna be like fucking all amazing. the religions. Yes, we started out this. There's podcast. a lot of religions, though, dude. Like, wow. We're going around to all. We're gonna start with Christianity, and then we're gonna ease into uh, Judaism, because it's, it's it's like gateway drug. Like you start out with weed, and then you try something new, like uh, fucking meth. So we're gonna start out with Christianity, and we're gonna ease don't, into I don't Judaism. Do drugs, though. Religion is a drug, dude. I'm high on God. <laughs> I am so close to Jesus, it's not even funny. 
And then afterwards, <laughs> we're all fucking doing. Oh la la la! <laughs> oh my god! Fucking read the Quran. Oh my god! <laughs> we should do like a um a retreat where we uh we like um fuck you. I've been to church retreats. They're hell. Fuck you. I'm talking about an ISIS retreat. Oh my god. You know, to you know, truly understand the Quran. Oh my god. Like we go visit ISIS. Oh, like ISIS from Archer or ISIS like in ISIS? ISIS, ISIS as in like you don't lose your head, ISIS. Oh my god. <laughs> but you're white though. They'll kill you on spot. Like, you're fucking. And you're Mexican, dude. They'll kill you on spot. Oh my god. But I I could like put a a veil or something and like pass off as something else. So could I. You're white as fuck. We you're both, transparent. We both know. That I am a okay with face paint. Not only will I go, <laughs> not only have I gone black face, I am fully prepared to go brown face. In the face of ISIS. Uh huh. Yes. Well, good luck with that. But think about it. Like, if we start talking about, like, we all right. What we do is we legit, like, listen. Like, they have audiobooks for the Bible. So the easiest way to do this is we just fucking lis- listen to a book of the Bible. Right. Genesis. Then fucking record a podcast where we talk about all the incest and shit. Oh my god. There's a lot of incest in the Bible. Adam Um, fucking Eve. Eve fucking Adam's son. Well, okay, wait, 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 wait. Eve isn't, okay, it's weird though, because like, Eve is like, Adam's rib. Right? If, If I remember correctly. Yes. She is like his rib. Yeah. So are they... Are they related? Because, like, sure. She... That's his clone. Right? I, in a way, yeah. But it's it's not really, like... Because, like, like, God all made science, a new person. Because they're not the from... same person, right? They're, they're, no, they're, they're different. No, they're different. Let's go by the science given this by Futurama. He took a ward off his toe, and he made, you know, Cupid. Yeah. Therefore, that's his clone, right? He took a rib, which is like the fungus on his toe, a wart. Right. That's a clone. Okay. So if they fuck, but like he's not a, a divine, kid. like he's not God. So yeah. God made a whole new person, right? No, but he's still he had to take a part of Adam. God could have created a woman, but he decided, hey, man's so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> Why fix what ain't broken, and let's make man. <laughs> Man, you know what man is? He's like the, he's like a sequel to the iPhone. He made Adam Adam C. Plus. That's why they're so much more attractive. Cuz yeah. they're better. You're not equals, dude. <laughs> equals. We're equal. You get all quiet. We're equal. Fair enough. They're better equal. in the sense that I'd rather fuck them than us. But would you rather be them? I'd rather be a pansexual. Because that'd be fun. I don't care what gender that entitles. Equal, dude. Equalist. Pans are just as good as men. Heterosexually. And women. <laughs> They're all this is true. Equals, dude. That's what I believe. OG equals. Yep. Okay. That's a fucking interesting... So, um, we said something about talking about Nazis in movies like 20 minutes ago and we haven't done that so let's kind of like do that because I actually really want to do that I mean let's, let's skip let's, the obvious choice though with Inglorious Bastards and go into one that you might not have seen uh, but it has Christian Bale in it uh, Swing Kids no I haven't seen that it's not a good movie what it's got Christian Bale though I know but it hasn't been young he's super young like that was like but he sings though huh is that the one where he sings he, I don't think he sings in it. There's a movie where he's a kid and he sings and it's beautiful. But so he's like, all right, he's a Nazi. Never mind. Like, he starts out, you know what a swing kid is, right? No. Oh, Mr. Super Research uh, Nazism guy over here doesn't know what a swing kid is. So, swing kids is the name of like... I'm sorry, the... Mr. Ankier baby. <laughs> oh, obviously. Yeah. Except they were citizens when they had me, so fuck you. I didn't call you a fucking anchor baby, dude. I was saying the fact that you knew what an anchor baby was. You just know all the... Well, I'm Mexican, what the fuck? I'm not Jewish. I 
That's racist, dude. Oh my god. You're saying just because... Do I know my culture better than someone else's culture. Yes, I'm a racist. I apologize for being a racist. Because you are. Sure. Stuart, sure. Anyway, Swing Kids is like, basically, a bunch of kids, people in general that love a certain, like, swing, which is a style of music. No. Not a bad style of music, actually. I really like it. Hmm. But they didn't liked it, and but not Nazi Germany was like, if it's not German Nazi music, it's not good music. So they're like, no. Mm. And you have to like swing dancing is hard. That's a like really difficult dance to try to get down. Are you swingers. What are you defining swingers as? Fucking couples who have sex with other couples. No, swing dancing is like flinging people and running around like it's crazy. I'll show you after this podcast like what swinging a swing swinging is crazy. Is it though? Yeah, couples having sex with other couples. It's like, why would you like, do that? Dale off Dale said something about that though. Like Dale's pro swing. Can you really say something Dale's pro for is bad? Dale is for a lot of bad things, but he's an amazing <laughs> character. He is awesome, dude. Yeah. And then he blamed it on Hank. That's yep. awesome. Yeah. I love when he fucking built a tunnel underneath his house. Dude, yes. And then he built it underneath the street and like Hank had to save all of them. That was awesome. But fuck you. The best use of Nazis in movies. Star Wars. No, I wasn't trying to say it was good. It's a bad movie. But I know you love Christian Bale, so it's like, there you go. Yeah. But anyway, you were saying? Star Wars. Oh, and The Force Awakens? No, just... In general? Yeah, all the stormtroopers. Yeah, because stormtroopers. Exactly. And the Emperor. I agree. Like, that's awesome. Me, Hitler, the Emperor. Oh, my God. Fucking buddies, dude. You are one. You're all the same. And you, you are one with me, so you're with us. Oh, my God. Throwing around with Hitler. Except I like anime, so I'm a little different. We're still bros, bro. <laughs> We're Digi Bros. We're not fucking Digi Bros. Digi Bro is awesome. Fuck you. Digi Bros, okay. I respect Digi Bro. But I do you believe. should. Digi Bro is I awesome. respect Digi Bro, but I feel we're better. I don't feel we're better in terms of what he does. Like, what he does in anime yeah. is way better than anything I've ever done or anything I've ever seen in anime. Look, he's also God, been doing it awesome. longer than us. So, yeah. sure, he's done more. But we have the potential to do more. Sure, but, like, potential does not make something great. Like, yes. sure, every movie has potential. That doesn't make every movie great. Every anime yeah. has potential. Okay, so, no, no, it it's, it's like, it's it's like a TV point. show. It's like a TV show. Right? If the first thing, the first episode's good, Archer, every episode could be good. Archer, we've seen Archer, but it's not over, like King of the Hill. Yeah, season six this year. Yep. Archer has the potential. Or is it to be six, right? Mm-hmm. Archer has the potential to be better than uh, King of the Hill. But right. it isn't definitive yet. But it's not over. But I would say that Archer is better than King of the Hill. But we can't say that because definitively, it hasn't ended. Yes, but you gotta admit it is better so far. So far, yeah. yeah. I would agree. And, but, like, but think about Digibro. If, if he had started out just like us, we're only two months into this podcast. Right. What would you say? With Digibo, uh, Digibro's, you know, singular thing, which is just talking about anime, we're able to diversify. Not only right. did we talk about movies, anime, prison rape, and now religion. Right. We're fucking, like, we got, we, we got it going. Right. That's why I'm saying that I think we are better than Digibro. Now, it is undeniable that Digibro is more successful than us, and he has done way more, but he also has years. True. I feel I by the time... I also like his content... A lot, so I don't know. I like our I content too. I like I love our content. Same. I wa- I fuck. I listen to our content all the time. Yeah. But like, I also listen to Digibro's content I, over I, and, and over I, again. So I can't. I can't well, say I mean, which you, one's better. I you know I I loved his Interstellar thing. Yeah, I loved his review on Sword Art Online. Yeah. I've listened to that thing. But again, it's more so it's many times. Topically suited towards you being an anime fan. Right. What we can do is not only be good for anime fans, because what we did with the anime episode, right? is we can also get the movie fans, the prison rape fans, and religion fans. We do an episode on Christianity, we got your mom hooked, got your grandma hooked, got my grandma yeah, but hooked. I'm not going to let them see it. Same. Ugh. But, you know what? I feel like this is a good place to end it. Like, we've established you're not a Holocaust supporter. Agreed. Which is... Unfortunate. Why? 
I just I enjoyed the Holocaust jokes so much. They were fun. I will admit it. But but your okay. like God bless your ignorance. My <laughs> ignorance. God bless your ignorance. Yeah. For fueling two months of you not hating Nazis. Because I didn't know enough about Nazis. So yes, How? ignorance is bliss. Had you seen the Indiana Jones movies? Yeah. You fucking Nazis. But it's been a long time. Had you seen the X Men movies? Fucking Nazis. Yeah. And first class, the best of them. Fucking kills his man. Nazi yeah. man. Yeah. But, again, this again, is the episode. Movies, so, I don't treat movies as historical fact. Hmm. Like, alright, when I see... I'm sure... I'm realizing now, yeah. those were not exaggerations. That's what Nazis are like. They, yeah. Or what we're like. We can't... We can assume modern day Nazis are pretty bad. Like, in terms of racism... Yeah, modern day Nazis are just fucking... They're, they're pissing in a river. Yeah. You, you know, you can piss in a river, it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, I know what you mean. I get the analogy. You don't have to explain it to me. Okay. Well, you, I, if you have to explain a joke, it's not funny anymore, well, so fuck you. Well, I had to explain <laughs> Nazis to you, and I'd rather make them not bad. <laughs> uh, but, honestly, this this is the episode that defines the moral limits. Where we fucking got morally into it. Yeah. And we and that was we great. narrowed into the limits of what we believe. Again, we are on sync. Yeah. We are one. We are one. To quote that movie again, which is a terrible movie. It's a fucking awesome quote though. It is an awesome quote, but like Lion King Two is a shit it's movie. A piece of shit. But is it worse than one and a You know half? what's a better quote that means the same thing? Hmm. Two minds of the same kind. Oh, what movie is that from? From uh, Epic Godfathers of History. Oh. Fucking Jim Henson. Oh. Stan Lee. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, so, that's a good way to end it. Yeah, it is. So, remember, if you want to follow these two minds of the same kind, only follow this one kind, which is me, at Stuart Keller. And if you follow at Jesus Gift Tips Christ, as much as I respect him, fuck off. Wait. Before we end it, though, even if you don't subscribe to us or subscribe to me... Oh, wait, 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 Digi wait, bro. wait, 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 big deal news, big deal news. Oh, shit. Before we At end the end this. end of a podcast. Before we end this, big deal news. 5% of our audience is from Japan. Oh, shit, yes. Yep. That's awesome. Look, we lost a subscriber and 2% of our audience with the feminist episode. Right. But we gained 5%. Of Japan. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yep, that's so, where we're ended. Thank you, Japan. Good night. Digibro is awesome. Subscribe to him now.